We have products and we have variants. A product is almost like a parent that's not really used for anything except consolidating all of the variants that we actually do sell. So a product might be boxers and then the variants are a extra large in this particular print or a small in this print and so on. So these are the two dimensions. And then these are the attributes from the product and they also bleed down to the variants. Mm -hmm. This tool is used when they're creating a brand new product. Even though they sell many, many different variations, they only have about 100 different unique products. So when they want to create a new one, they come in here and they fill in these values. This part is not particularly interesting here, right? And then, you know, these are sort of the master tables. These are all required. If they're and in, creating in, a brand in some new respects, product. you're creating the header. Exactly. Well, you're creating the header and you're going to create the initial set of variants, variants as well. So what you do is you say, okay, I initially want to create, and again, this is, this part here is very similar to NetSuite's own matrix mm -hmm. items, which we decided not to go with for reasons that are more obvious in the other tool. But anyway, so you select, hey, these are the six designs I want, and these are the sizes that I'm looking for right, okay. for this one. And when you hit refresh, it is going to basically show you a permutation of this times this. So it's not actually creating it. The refresh no. is sort of trying to, trying to prep it. Exactly. So it says, hey, based on what you gave me, these are the variants I would actually create. Interesting. Okay. And so if you mark all and hit create products and variants, it will kick off the process to do exactly that. Okay. So it will create that header parent record and then it will create variants for each of these permutations. Okay, so this is the create the create mode, and here it gives you similar to the NetSuite's. Exactly. In here, there isn't a whole lot of advantage over NetSuite's own, but again, because we're not using matrix items, that's why I needed to create my own variation of this. Uh -huh. I'll go ahead and kick this off. What it does is it kicks off a script in the background and then gives you a chance to essentially sit and monitor that script while it's working. So it has kicked off a MapReduce. It knows that the MapReduce is actually running. It's not in pending mode. And it will continue to sit here until that job finishes. That's really all there is to it. Let, let's Got look it. at the other, the other tool that's a little more useful. For maintenance which exactly. versus create. Exactly. So the reason this tool was created was what often happens is, is they have an existing product let's say again, you know, men's boxes, and they already have it available in, in 100 different prints and, you know, 10 different sizes. And now they decide we're going to come up with a whole new print. We're going to come up with ET phone home as a new okay. print. And so now we want to offer that existing product in, these, in just this new print. So what they say is, okay, we have come up with a new print, what they call a material design. And it says, okay, what is the one? You, you Elsewhere, uh, you create that actual record. For that you create that material right. design attribute. Elsewhere. Exactly. But it could be yep. like a new thing. It's something they invent. Exactly. So let's say bikes. You click on that, and what it does is it looks at every product you have and every size that it comes in as a standard and offers you the ability to create variants for all of those sizes in the new print. So imagine, you know, you've got, 30 different products that are already available and some in small, some large and so on. And now you can quickly create all the, all of them in the bikes material. So if, if a pair of boxes is currently available in five sizes, now we'll offer you to create those five sizes in the bikes design. Here you can say, I only want to see certain kinds of products. In other words, I don't want to be creating this for kid sizes or for bras. I only want boxers. So you get a select. Most of the time, though, they don't use the selection because they want everything. They, they basically want to see what are my current products and the different sizes they come in so that they have an opportunity to create all of them in the new design. The other thing is the script also sees maybe you've already created some of them in the bike's design, and those, of course, won't be shown on here. It will only show you those Where that do not yet exist. Exactly. So if it's a brand new material design, all of them will be holes, to use that terminology. But if maybe you manually created some of them previously, you'll see just the missing one. Okay. So it says, my suggestion is there are up to 408 here that we want to create. 
So the idea so, is, is for the bikes, it's saying, I don't see the bike attribute in these potential configurations. Correct. Thus, it's in essence, where we already have configurations, it's growing that variant space exactly. That's across correct. other header spaces or what have you, right? Exactly. Generally, when you've created a new kind of material design, hey, Christmas is coming up, we wanna have a new design for Christmas 2020. So they create it, they select it here, and then the script comes and says, here are all the ones we could do. Which ones do you actually want to do? You can say, I definitely want all of my CM830s. So it's a selector down below. Yes, I see. this is your selector, right? And it works in both directions. It selects and deselects. So if I control click, right, I'll get both. That's pretty nice. Yeah. And then they're also, they, they can select on products. There's an attribute on the product record that says, this is a quick select. So those that, that they most commonly create whenever they come up with a new material right, design. Right, they're most popular and, stuff. Exactly. So that button will select those. I don't know whether they have any of them actually configured yes, yet. Yes, they might maybe. not have, right? But that's the idea there. And then also just very quickly to select products. So bottom line, they make all the selections they want, and then they hit create, and it does the same thing as this other tool did. This is the other tool. It has finished. It now took us to the new product header record okay. with the selection we made. And if we come in here, we will see the variants it created for us. Yep. Right. That makes a lot of sense. So yeah, so that and, was the and, first and, tool. Yep. And the variants, the same thing. Uh, now when you want to update the variants for price, how do you do that across right. the space? Generally, if you edit the header, what you will see automatically based on the configuration is it will tell you which fields will automatically get copied to the children. That's all dynamic. So if you change one of these attributes, I it see. will you run just, a background so you, script. So you just made it, so you don't have to kind of do an update or it, it does it behind the scenes, kind of saying these attributes will propagate down to their children. Exactly. And it tells you that and it, the script monitors and only if one of those attributes has changed, does it kick off a synchronization script. And so you don't really, in this, in the, in this client configuration, we do not really modify the children. N not directly. In fact, if you go to Very one of the children, mm -hmm. if you were to edit it directly, mm -hmm. the same fields will be unavailable uh, to you and it will tell you parent. that they're inherited from the parent. Nice job. But but we store them on both records for searching, right? To make it easy. So we make yeah. sure they're synchronized, but for searching it's easy, right? That's Pretty it. nice. So those are the two tools. One, when you're creating a brand new product and the initial set of variants, and then one, when you're introducing a new pattern, new material design, and you want it to quickly. And this is the feature that NetSuite doesn't have with matrixes, which is very important to them they regularly introduce new patterns and now they need to go and back create all of the variants for this new pattern. And that's why doesn't have a solution for that. So that's why we built this tool and that's why we don't use matrix items. Makes sense. Yeah. Thank you, Bogon.